the journal says the angel statues are pointing to something. So that makes me think we're trying to get all those angel statues to point in the same direction. Maybe towards that locked door. That's going to be my guess. So this one, yeah, this, sta this statue is just pointing directly to the right. Okay, so let's get the other statues to point towards the exact same spot. I'm thinking it's that door. So let's see. If this statue's uh, down below, I will need it to point up. I think that's it. Let's see. Where's that statue? It's very far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so not pointing down. Let's get the uh, statue to point up. No, 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 no. Not all the way down. All the way up. Let's go all the way up. Yeah, so now it's sort of pointing in the same direction as the other statue. Let's see this one. So how high up does this go? Ooh, it's hard to tell. So would it be up or down? Let's go with the uh, slightly down like that. Let's go with that position. It's kind of hard to tell because the pathway is cut off there. So let's see. About that height. About that height. About that height. No, that's... I think that's wrong. I think that one is wrong. I think that one might need to be moved up. Oh! Jeez. Jenny fell off the ladder. I didn't know that could happen. Well, getting these two to point in the right direction should be easy. This one needs to point down. Perfect. Oh, I saw the puzzle. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that was the solution. Okay. Good. Good. It would have been easier if, say, you know, every time you got one statue correct, um, the sword corresponding to that statue was moved. That would have been a bit more, uh, that, that would have made it more obvious. Okay, so maybe middle ring first. Now this ring has to go. Okay, so second ring. Gosh, outer ring. Yeah, it, it this is going to be a puzzle. Okay, this ring lasts because it moves all by itself. Okay, so um Second from middle. I'm trying to get the sword up. I imagine I need the sword to point up, right? Then outermost ring. Then middle. Then third ring. Got it. Got it. Some days you just feel super smart. Jenny studied the stone discs, now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a badger. That's unusual. Oh, it is? Huh. Okay. Wait a minute. I see above it. I... Did, did anyone see an angel design, like, directly above the door? Was that the clue that I missed? Oh, this is creepy. Something tells me this isn't a tomb. This could be that hidden passageway. Can I leave? I want to leave. I want to check out that angel design. Yeah, so that's kind of an angel design there. Yeah, so that's also kind of a clue, I, I guess. It's hard to see. Yeah, hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, Jenny's like, some days you feel super smart. It's like, I would have felt super smart. I would have if I hadn't spent, like, 15 minutes guessing at how to solve the puzzle.
Yeah, once I figured out what the puzzle was actually trying to uh, do, then it was pretty easy. If the easy. huge coiling wires hadn't made it clear, the hulking metallic shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. It's the entrance to another laboratory. Just Ooh, another like lab. Forest. How many of these are there? The presence of such unusual and foreign objects in Arthurton begged even bigger questions. Who put them here? And for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around the sphere. A perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous could be so easily concealed... What else is Arthurton hiding? Can I go inside? Yes, this is why you need Susie, because Susie's a scientist, and she would be able to help you, Jenny. She might even be able to uh, understand what this thing does. We know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines whirred to life, Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance she had overlooked before. Some of this equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. Can't yeah. believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. Did Susie make these things? You can call Susie on your walkie-talkie at any time, Jenny. Any time, Jenny. Or could it be that you know? Whoever did the background art for for this game was just reusing pictures Another because radio. that's that's easy. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true, whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in town. Hmm, not this puzzle again. Okay, so now all the things are going to the right. Good. It seems to slow down when I do that, so maybe that's good. Okay, it seems to get closer. Green seems to get closer to the others when I do that. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna stretch them out like this. I need to get, gl get blue, correct. It's definitely another number code, definitely. Okay. I don't know what any of these things mean. Gain, filter, frequency? Now red is the... It looks like I've got green and blue. Yeah, I think I've got it. No. No. Okay, I've almost got it. This is why I hate these puzzles. Why I hate these puzzles is it's like, oh... You're like one hair off, and you don't know which one is a hair off. Okay, it's not that one. It's not gain. Let's try frequency. It's not frequency. Then it's tracking. No. It was tracking. It's Obviously, it was the last one I tried. This code was different from the last. Just as strange, though. Jenny carefully transcribed the words into her journal. Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Do you still have the book? She does. Okay. So, uh, let's do this. Bear 39. Okay, rabbits and bear. So, 39 and 60. Purge. Rabbit 60 is only. Rabbit 17 is near. Okay, so that's rabbit up. Uh, bear 34 is. Wolf and sheep. Wolf 24. Death. Sheep 40. Soon. Wolf 24, infected, 
So I need cheap 66. These are some very grim words forever. Okay, Weasel, Hawk, and Goose. Hawk and Weasel. Okay, 41 and 56. Silence. Bear. And then finally, Goose 21. Purge infected, soon only death. Forever silenced, despair herself is near. This message, as sinister as the last, sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strausbury? It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death, despair herself is near. There's that weird infection on the Dean's uh, neck, right? And now they're coming for my mom. What does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Very curious. Okay, let's check out the rest of this area. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. It looks like the Dean's ring fits a inside it. A large metallic it. slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. That shape? Where have I seen it before? The Dean's, the Dean's ring, ring, Jenny. Come on! Let's put his ring inside. Let's do it. Oh no, not this puzzle again. Um. Bottom left. Bottom left. Bottom right. Upper left. No. Is this the same solution as before? Bottom left. Bottom right. Upper right. Upper left. Middle. Fits. Yes. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot, as though it were made for it. Mm hmm So, rotate the ring. Do something, Jenny. No, seriously, what, what can she do? I'm stuck in a zoom-in. Here we go. Maybe these buttons. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just a loose connection somewhere. Okay, a loose connection here. We have a wire puzzle. Okay, we've had a wire puzzle before. Let's let's do another one. Ah, way more complicated. Jenny knew that the best way to fix anything electronic was to mess around with it until all the lights come on. Alright, so we want to make sure all these wires are touching. I'm going to reach this one down there. So two possibilities, I see, actually three possibilities for this one at the bottom. Is, uh, is because we've got these two things that are right next to each other, so it can't be here or here, because that leaves one on top to completely undone. Uh, so I can see it, it matches here on the right, or maybe it matches here at the bottom, or it matches here on the left. So if it matches there on the left, then something's got to match over here with this blue. Ah, but I can't have something match with that blue because it leaves something out. So therefore, the one on the bottom isn't matching uh, on the left. So, if it's not matching that, let's try that. Let's try this, this one. So if it matches there, then I need a blue there. Yeah, which means I need a thing here, but then that doesn't match on the left. So like this, perhaps. Yep, if that's it. great detective didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. 
Okay, now let's try it. Yes. What does it do? Does it, like, destroy the ring? That would be sad. It's broken, ha! <laughs> Fake out. The machine's true application would remain a mystery, for now. But whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strasbury is somehow connected to this place. Had the Dean been aware of the secret hiding within his ring? Whether he knew or not, it's likely he was killed because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take that ring back. Gosh, so somebody probably killed him in order to get get something here. Okay, here's a sticker. Hidden amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny LeClue was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath that cable. Oh, I thought it was a sticker. Confidential. Confidential. The word was music to Jenny's ears. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be uh, a long puzzle. I think I'll solve this puzzle in the next video. Yeah, so what could that machine be? It was clearly changing colors. So some sort of light. It looks like it was trying to zoom in on the ring. But we already figured out the secret of the ring. Maybe something else goes there. Maybe you're supposed to put, um, I don't know, another machine or a board or a book there, above the ring. Maybe? 